Yo, what's up guys, Yusuf here from TechDroids and welcome back for a brand new video on the channel. And today we're going to do a $750 gaming PC that's going to be doing really well in terms of the modern AAA titles if you're a gamer. And also you can edit and stream videos from this PC. And yeah, it's a beast of a PC for the price. Not the best value for money, but not the worst as well because PC part pricing is coming down and taking in consideration the RAM pricing, the GPU pricing, it is coming down to normal. So yeah, if you really need a PC and it's urgent, if your work is stuck and you really need the power, I'd say go ahead and spend it on this PC right now. And yeah, if you can buy offline, buy used, try to get the best deals, but I'd still suggest go ahead and spend it on this one and the $750 will be totally worth it. And you won't regret it in the future. But with that being said, all the parts that I talk about in this video will be linked in the description to Amazon US and those are affiliate links as always. So if you wanna help the channel out and in turn help me make more videos, go ahead, buy from those. And yeah, it helps the channel out. And also towards the end of the video, we'll talk about the performance of this PC and also how you can upgrade it in the future to make it even better in terms of performance. And with that being said, let's get to the build. Now for the CPU, we have the newly launched Intel Core i5-8500. It comes with six cores and six threads, has a clock speed of three gigahertz on the base and can go up to 4.1 on the boost. It is supported by the 300 series boards, has Intel UHD Graphics 630, which have been improved a lot from the past generation of integrated graphics and also has Optane memory support only for $185. And in my opinion, this is a really good chip for people who want to game on the budget, also want to do productivity, editing and stream on the budget. Overall, a really good CPU for the price. Now to house that CPU, we have the Gigabyte B360 AMD S3H. This is a really good, well-rounded budget motherboard. It is micro ATX in terms of the form factor, so you're not paying a premium for small. DDR4, USB 3.1 Gen 1, USB 3.0, HDMI, two RAM slots, and for only $69.99, this is a really good motherboard. Now for RAM, we have eight gigabytes of Crucial Bliss Export LT at 2,666 megahertz. Eight gigabytes should be more than enough in 2018 for gaming and doing normal day-to-day -day tasks. But yeah, if you really feel the need in the future, you can surely go to 16 gigabytes and do whatever you want with that. And yeah, upgradability is one thing that is good with custom built PCs and it is present here. And this retails for $82, not the best value for money, but yeah, RAM pricing will eventually come down. Now for mass storage, we have the one terabyte WD Blue hard drive at 7200 RPM. This is tried and trusted, 64 megabytes of cache and 3.5 inch form factor. Not the fastest thing in the world, but it is really reliable. $43.99 and you could really not complain. Now to power this whole build up, we have the Thermaltake Smart Smart 600 watt power supply. It has 80 plus wide certification, that means 80% plus efficiency at all times. A five year warranty will make sure that nothing goes wrong and if it does, you can go ahead and contact Thermaltake and they'll fix it for you. And $42 of price means this will be able to power the whole build up. Also leave some headroom in the future for upgrades and yeah, the price is totally worth it and nothing much need to be said about this one. Now for the graphics card, we have the Zotac GeForce GDX 1060 Mini. Three gigabytes of GDDR5, DX12, VR ready, and also has a boost clock of 1708 MHz, three display ports, one HDMI, and one dual link DVI. For only $269, this is not the best value for money, but it's eventually gonna go down in price. So if you can buy offline or buy used, and still get the same performance and the same specs, go ahead, do that. But I'd still say if you need the power, go ahead and spend the money right now and you'll really not regret it. Now to wrap this whole build up, we have the Cooler Master Masterbox 5. This is a really good case and retails for only $55. ATX mid tower in terms of the size, so you can upgrade things in the future. Has a lot of space for cable management, hard drive, and a bigger GPU if you actually wanted to add one. It is black in color, so it can match your setup if that's what you want. It has a space, it has the looks, and also has USB 3.0. Also supports liquid cooling, and for $55, what else can you ask for? This is from Cooler Master, so you also get the brand reliability, and basically, it is one of the best cases under the budget. Now, that's about it for the parts. Now, let's talk about performance. Performance in modern AAA titles will be great. You can go up to 1440p. Depending upon the settings you choose, you will get a good frame rate. So 1080p should be a breeze, medium to max settings. You can max out most AAA titles at 1080p and should be good. You should be getting some 60 FPS action over there. Esports styles like CSGO, Dota 2, League of Legends, World of Warcraft, Rocket League, the games that don't require a lot of power, again, good 60 or 100 FPS, smooth, silky gameplay at 1440p or 1080p. Depending upon the settings you choose, you will get really good frame rates. And talking about editing and streaming, that's also possible here. After Effects, Premiere Pro, OBS, whatever you wanna use, this is gonna be able to handle it. And I don't think this PC will have any hiccups doing normal day-to-day -day tasks like productivity and things like that. 
Now talking about the future upgrades, you should be able to upgrade basically everything, the CPU, the RAM, the storage, the graphics card, and basically make it a whole new beast if you want more performance in the future. But that being said guys, thanks a lot for watching this one. If it was helpful, go ahead, like this video, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Also hit that notification thingy so you don't miss out on uploads in the future. And with that being said, thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace out.